Я не сгоревший. Не горел и связи нет никакой. На обратном пути заберем, блядь. Кули курить тут долго тоже нахуй. North Korea may send its military instructors to Ukraine after the visit of the Russian delegation. Russian President Vladimir Putin has landed in North Korea for a rare visit that signals the two countries deepening alignment and Moscow's need to source weapons from Pyongyang to sustain its war on Ukraine. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un personally greeted Putin at the plane ramp as he arrived in the North Korean capital of Pyongyang. The streets of Pyongyang were decked out with Russian flags and posters of Putin ahead of his first visit to the country since 2000. This visit is a rare overseas trip for Putin since he launched the invasion of Ukraine in 2022 and a key moment for Kim, who has not hosted another world leader in his politically isolated country since the COVID-19 pandemic. Kim Jong-un has promised full support and solidarity for Russia's war in Ukraine, as President Vladimir Putin said during their meeting in Pyongyang that Moscow is fighting against the decades-long hegemonic and imperialist policy of the United States and its allies. Putin thanked Kim for unwavering support on Ukraine. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un have signed a comprehensive agreement pact between Russia and North Korea, which Kim described as peaceful and defensive, and which Putin said did not rule out the provision of mutual assistance in the event of aggression against one of the parties to this agreement. Speaking after his meeting with Kim, Putin said, the new agreement is defensive in nature and includes a promise of mutual assistance if either is attacked. Russian news agencies reported, as he described it, as a breakthrough pact that will take ties to a new level. Kim described Putin as the dearest friend of the Korean people, saying that at this moment, when the whole world is paying close attention to Pyongyang, where the friendship mission from Russia has arrived, I stand with Russian comrades, our most honest friends and comrades. It is known that Defense Minister Andrei Belusov, Roscosmos Head Yuri Borisov, Transport Minister Roman Staryovoit, Primary Governor Oleg Kozemyako and others flew to Pyongyang. The composition of the Russian delegation is actively discussed in Western media. Thus, the presence in the delegation of the Minister of Defense and the head of the Roscosmos in the USA and EU countries is interpreted exclusively as Russia is preparing to receive military products from North Korea and in exchange provide satellite technologies that will allow missiles with nuclear warheads to be guided to military bases in USA and on the territory of the USA itself. Between August and February, Pyongyang shipped about 6,700 containers to Russia, which could accommodate more than 3 million rounds of 155mm artillery shells or more than 500,000 rounds of 122mm multi-rocket launchers. France suddenly became concerned about the visit of the Russian president, together with the representative delegation to the North Korea. It turned out that experts remembered Macron's initiative to send military instructions to Ukraine. Let us recall that initially the French president spoke about a full-fledged military contingent that could be stationed in Ukraine, for example in Odessa. 
Considering the fact that French instructors have already been exposed during the fighting in Ukraine, experts in France say that the North Korea may make a similar move to recruit military instructors in contrast to the positions of Macron and a number of leaders of NATO countries.